What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels. Coming to you from the Holiday Inn, Sunur Beach, Bali, Indonesia. So you can see we have a restaurant here. Hello. Evening. Got some loud music going. Right next door is the IHG property. Hello, sir. Good singer, good singer. This is where they do breakfast here. I also ate some nasi goreng this morning. And then the pool is on the rooftop, which is where I'll take you now. So this is a Holiday Inn. It is not a Holiday Inn Express. R's rooftop. I'll show you the pool and then I'll take you down to the gym. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, look at this pool. Beautiful. In the event of a tsunami, this is the assembly point. Okay. So, you gotta be aware of strong wind up here. Looks like they've got towels and toilets. Now we'll go check out the gym level. It says the greatest weakness is giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try. Just one more time. Here's a look at the gym. This one's in maintenance. Small, but it works, it's functional. What is on site here? Just a little outdoor area. Okay. All right, so this is a standard room. Okay. Same shape like your current room. Yep. Beautiful desk, and okay, so very nice, works perfect. Standard room right here. Let's take a look just in here. So this is the executive suite here. You can see it's got a living room area, nice and spacious. And then over here, you can see the bed and the bedroom. And then it has a nice bathtub, which the standard room does not have. And then you have toilet, shower, big shower. Yeah, very nice. Wow, okay, so we're just going through here, taking a whole look at it. Beautiful, there's the desk, all right. So, would you put them up here? Yeah. All right, so now for my final review of the Holiday Inn in Sunur. So I am currently about an hour and a half north of Sunur. I just went up to Ahmed, 
that's a popular place for divers here in Bali. Uh, but uh, this beach that I'm at now, this Hyatt that I'm staying at is called Alila. Uh, last night I stayed at a non-chain hotel. So I'll be showing you a tour of that for those of you who are interested in going up to Ahmed. They don't have any chain hotels up there. It's mostly um, hostels and uh, boutique hotels or bungalows. But anyway, this hotel here is quite interesting. I will be showing you that uh, in a couple videos. But let's talk about the Holiday Inn in Sanur. So it is right next door to the Intercontinental Hotel. There are, I think, two or three Intercontinentals on the island as well as multiple different Holiday Inns. So you wanna make sure you know what Holiday Inn or what Intercontinental you're looking at when you're looking at the reviews. Um, this one is Sanur Beach. So make sure you're watching the right video re review here, right? Now, the hotel is quite small. It's about four or five floors. Uh, it's not outdoor like the other hotels that I stayed at where when you're walking outside, uh, you're outside when you're walking the hallways. You're indoors all the time. Um, there is the rooftop pool as I showed you. The staff is very friendly. Um, go out of their way to make sure you're comfortable. Always took good care of me. I had a couple issues with the uh, self, uh, what is this, um, the TV connection. One night there wasn't a uh, connection for the YouTube, but to be honest with you, no hotel on the island aside from this one even had the app YouTube. So the fact that I was even able to watch YouTube when it was working was very good compared to what I've experienced in the Hilton or the Marriott's or any of the other hotels. So even though it was a not working one night, it's still okay. I stayed there for two nights, by the way. The room and the beds were very comfortable. Obviously, the executive suite was my favorite experience because it's a big room. I felt like the bed was a little bit more comfortable in there. I don't know exactly why I felt that way, but I did. Um, the desk was good for working, so you can get a lot of work done if you do need to do that while you're here. Uh, it's right there, maybe a five minute walk away from the beach if that, maybe like a three minute walk from the beach, uh, even though it doesn't bump up next to the beach like the Intercontinental does, but you can get access to the Intercontinental Hotel if you wanted to. The other thing is the town, the village of Sanur is right next to this hotel, so you can easily walk there if you needed to. Um, and right around the hotel in that area, it's about a three minute walk to the main road. And then once you're on the main road, you're gonna have everything from nail salons, haircuts, um, restaurants, massage, you name it, uh, convenience stores, grocery stores, all of that is right there in Sonora. It's actually a really bustling place. Now, something I would like to mention is that they did just build the Icon Bali, which is a big mall uh, named after the Icon Siam in Bangkok, Icon Bali. It's not the biggest mall though, but it's considered like the coolest, awesome new mall that's been built in Bali. Um, that is about a, 30 minute walk away, I would say. So you're better off just driving over there, uh, taking a taxi, um, but nice new mall they built in Sanur, uh, but it's totally different side of Sanur than this side that we stayed at. So overall, I would have to say this is a very nice hotel, good price, I would stay there again. Um, and I do recommend the Holiday Inn in Sanur Beach. I'll try to get to some more Holiday Inns on the island, but we'll see how that goes. Either way, we'll see you on the next one from Ahmed in the northern part of the island, and then we'll see you from Alila, which is where I'm at now here. It's a Hyatt property.